this is the radar mitigation system I just finished putting in a day and a half ago. Uh, I ran a test from the local Home Depot for radon, came back at a 7.67, and the max safe is considered at 4, so it was almost double the max safe level. After doing so, I bought a electronic radon tester and found that it was around 18 to 19. I found out also that radon can vary throughout the days and weeks. So I wanted to get a baseline before I put in the radon mitigation system. And so this is over the crock for the sump pump. And this is sealed down with silicone to keep a nice tight seal. This has a rubber connector on it. That is a three inch screw in PVC connector there. And that is a rubber fitting that the pipe goes through. Down for the sump pump, I put on a coupler below the uh, flow back valve so that it shouldn't leak because there's not going to be any water standing in here, it's just going to stay up here. I put on a rubber connector here also so I can take out these two rubber connectors and fairly easily get the crock top off without having to cut pipe or anything like that. So this goes up the wall here and up here I have a vacuum indicator and this will make sure that there's actually the flow of air going through there so I know that the mitigation fan is running and operating as it should. This just connected in with a 3 16th hole here and then it plugs in here. I had to seal this up with a little silicone so that I have no leakage there either and then that just goes straight out of the house. In the past 36 hours when this has been running I have seen a significant drop in the mitigation of the radon levels it went from an 18 and it's now down to 2.07 so it is working very well and I'm really impressed with the results here is the outside of the radon mitigation system I've got the power coming up hooking into the radon mitigation fan and then going up from there uh, the mitigation fan had four inch uh, connections so I had to put in four inch PVC connections for that but the rest of the PVC pipe is 3 inch schedule 40 with the exception of this 1 inch schedule 40 which is for the drain of water and this is something that the manufacturer said to put in if I did not put it in they would not honor the warranty so I put that in and I put some insulation around it to keep it from freezing hopefully uh, the manufacturer said that is something you can do to help keep it from freezing so this is the mitigation fan and it goes right up the side of the house and that is the top there as you can see I've got the got a coupler on the top there the coupler actually has a one quarter inch screen there which is keeping any varmints or anything like that from getting in the top uh, you're not supposed to put any uh, elbows on the top to make it go over to the side uh, it's supposed to go straight out but the screen is usually okay in most areas by code so this is the radon mitigation system the power is coming out it's connected to a GFI outlet so if there's any issues with wetness or anything gets in it will trip the GFI outlet and keep from causing any issues electrically I put together a list of parts required for a radon mitigation installation. I have in the description below links to parts for this installation. This is by no means a complete list. There may be parts that are required for you that are not listed here. It all depends on what is required for your installation. These are the parts that I use for my installation. 3 inch schedule 40 PVC pipe the elbows and connectors for that pipe. I also used on the exterior of the house for the PVC pipe a quarter inch mesh connection on the very end which was put there to keep debris and animals from getting into the pipe. PVC primer and PVC glue. Great stuff or expanding foam. This was used around the electrical and the pipe going through the wall to seal off that hole. Sump dome, flexible conduit for the electrical, 
Radon Fan, Joist Hangers for the PVC Pipe or Brackets. I did not use the joist hanger, I just used the brackets and I put them into the cement and I use quarter inch cement screws and a 3 16 inch cement bit to drill them in, drill in the holes for those screws. Silicone sealant. This was used for the sump dome to seal that down to the floor to make a nice tight, airtight seal. Plumber putty. I used this around the exterior where the PVC pipe came out of the wall. I put this around onto the siding and the pipe to make a nice tight seal. Outdoor electrical switch box and a switch to go in that box. The tools you're going to need for the installation of the radon mitigation system are screwdriver, utility knife, hammer drill, 3 inch hole saw which I used for the PVC pipe, half inch drill bit which I used for the electrical, caulk gun, sockets and wrench or impact driver, hacksaw or reciprocating saw, ladder, paper towel, wire stripper, wire nuts, 12-2 or 14-2 wire with ground, radon tester. Although this is not required, it's a good idea. I use this to get a before number of my radon levels and then after installing the mitigation system to get a number to know if it's going down like I was wanting it to or if I'm still having issues with the radon mitigation system not providing enough mitigation to get it down to a safe level. You can send into a lab to have this tested, but you're going to be paying money every time you do so. And if you want to test in the future, you're going to have to pay again. Whereas buying the tester, although it may not be as precise as sending to a lab, you're able to get a good idea and you're able to test it at any time just by setting out the tester and putting batteries in it.